For six weeks, firefighters from across the area are in class, but this isn't your normal training, with firefighters from across the region traveling here to be the instructors. It brings into it a little bit larger of a city perspective. We have the opportunity to learn from experts from Seattle, from Spokane. Even with, with a city our size or, or a rural fire department, we all still need to be out there training and, and uh, learning. Having these guys show up on their off time and, and it shows how important it is to, to a lot of these firefighters within the community to, to be doing this stuff. The lesson being taught today is how to run a ladder truck from the operations itself all the way up to the top where you're in the bucket learning how to approach a window during a fire. Like let's say I'm going to spot that window right there on the corner. You know, we have good communication with the victim and, uh, and then we'd go ahead and Bring, bring the, uh, bring the button down into the window. At this point, I might take this off, slip to the side, open it up, bring them in, fires out, and at that point then we'd kick it in fast idle, we'd retract. Constantly, you know, we're looking for anything that might be unsafe. We're looking for overhead, just really all around us, 360 degrees. Safety, new situations, new equipment, all a part of this six-week course. This is the first time this has actually been done in the state, as far as we're aware. It's had great success, and we hope to be able to make it happen every year from now on out. With a week to go, these firefighters will continue to learn, both in and out of the classroom, helping to keep the community safe. That's why we choose the profession that we choose, and, and uh, if, if we want to be super safe, we'd go out and be plumbers. In Belgrade, Adam Bell, MTN News. Local firefighters learning how to run a ladder truck. I'm going to join them on the ladder truck in a matter of minutes. Coming up.